Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about a Power BI interview questions and answers. So these are the list of top Power BI interview questions. For more interview questions, please subscribe to my channel and please provide your valuable feedback. So let's go to the questions. First question, what is a Power BI? Power BI is a cloud-based sha data sharing environment and it allows anyone to analyze and visualize the data with a greater efficiency, speed and understanding. Also, it helps us to connecting users to a wide range of data with the help of easy to operate dashboards, visualizations and interactive reports bringing data to a file. So this is all about a Power BI. This is how you need to answer what is a Power BI. I am repeating Power BI will help us to analyze and visualize the data with a greater efficiency and with a greater speed and understanding. Next, what is SSBI and what are the parts which are in the SSBI? First of all, what is SSBI? Abbreviation, if you see, SSBI is nothing but Self-Service Business Intelligence. It is an approach. SSBI is an approach to do the data analytics that enables us to filter the data and to segment the data and to analyze their business data without in-depth of the technical knowledge. And so SSBI self-service business intelligence has made it easier for end users to access their business data and create various visuals to get their better business insights and there are two parts in the ssbi first one is the excel bi toolkit second one is the power bi so what is excel bi toolkit here it allows users to create interactive report by importing data from different sources and models data according to the report requirement this is nothing but a excel bi toolkit the second one is power bi power bi is the online solution that enables you to share it with the multiple people and interactions so these are the two parts of the self-service business intelligence Self-service business intelligence is the one which will help us to do the data analytics that enables business users to filter analytics and segment the and analyze their data. Next. What is the difference between Power BI desktop and Power BI? So Power BI desktop is a desktop version and Power BI is a cloud version. That is one of the advantages of the Power BI. Power BI desktop is a free copy where you can download and you can practice on your own and it is a cloud based uh, platform. Next, what are the important, what are the key components of Power BI? The same question can also be asked as them. What are the building blocks of the Power BI? There are five building blocks of the five key components of the Power BI. You need to know. So before uh, going to understand more, you need to know what are the key components of the Power BI or what are the building blocks of Power BI. There are five key components in the Power BI, five building blocks in the Power BI. First one is visualization. Second one is data set. Third one is a report. Fourth one is a dashboard. Fifth one is a tiles. Now let me explain in detail about each and every one. First one is visualization. So visualization is a visual representation of a data, is a kind of data representation platform. For example, pie chart, line chart, side by side bar charts, graphical presentation of the source data on the top of a geographical map, tree map. Means whatever the component you use for the visual representation, that is nothing but a visualization key component in the Power BI. Next, data sets. 
data sets is a collection of data that power bi is going to use for its visualization it is also one of the key component without data set you will not be able to visualize the data example excel sheets oracle data sources and sql server tables those are the data sets next reports report is a collection of visualization that appear together on one or more pages example like a, a um, sales by country sales by state sales by city report logistics performance and profit by products report etc so these are all the reports components next dashboards dashboard is a single layer and it's a important a key component for the power bi visualization tool is a single layer presentation of multiple visualizations let us say in a single dashboard i can keep a pie chart bar chart and uh, area chart even and i can keep a map as well tree map and all so we can integrate one or more visualizations in a single layer that is nothing but a dashboard next tiles Tile is a single visualization in a report or a dashboard. So in a dashboard, so we'll be keeping one tile, one one box. That's nothing but a tile. That that is nothing but a pie chart in the dashboard, area chart in a dashboard, something like that. So these are the five key components of the Power BI. I'm repeating the component names: visualizations, data sets, reports, dashboards. and tiles these are the five key components of the power bi these are the five building block blocks of the power bi next what is a dax so if you know the sql server analysis services tabular model then it is very easy to answer so the queries which we run on the top of the ssas tabular model those are called as a dax queries now so dax are the one which will help us to provide some basic calculations and data analysis in the power pivot so we use data analysis expressions dax is nothing but a data analysis expressions so it is a formula language used to compute calculated column and the calculated fields and so dax is going to work on the column values and with the help of the data i cannot insert or i cannot modify the data so there is a data in the tabular model i can pull it that's it i cannot insert or, or i cannot modify the data we can create a calculated column and measures with the help of the dax but we cannot calculate rows using dax so this is about a dax so dax is the one data analysis expressions is the one which will write on the top of the ssa is tabular model so which will help us to create a, a calculate a columns and calculate the fields and which cannot help us to modify or insert the data next question what is summarized function what is a summarized function in uh, tabular model so there are two major points we have for summarize mainly group by function the ssas if the people who know ssas it's a very easy to answer this question it's a main group by function in the ssas and it is recommended to practice it to specify the table and group by columns but not matrix so you can use add columns function even so this is nothing but a summarize function next so what is excel add in see excel add in is the one is a components there are many excel add ins are there but for power bi prospect to there are four excel add ins which supports for the excel first one is the power query second one is the power pivot third one is the power view fourth one is the power map power query it helps in finding editing and loading external data power query is the one which will help us to find editing and loading the external data next power pivot it it mainly used for the data modeling and analytics it mainly used for the data modeling and analytics next power view it is used to design the visual and interactive reports next 
power map it helps to display insights with in the 3d maps it is a mapping related stuff next question what is a power query power query is an ideal tool used to shape clean and transform the data using interfaces without having to without coding it helps us to import the data from wide range of sources means files databases big data social media etc join and depend data from multiple data sources so this is nothing but a power query in a simple statement it helps us to find edit and loading the external data it will help us to import the data from wide range of sources that is nothing but a power query next question so what is a power map and what is your comfortable level in the power map first we'll talk about here power map then we can talk about the comfortable level power map is an excel adding that provides a powerful set of tools to help you to visualize and gain insight into large sets of data that have geo coded component it can help you to provide 3d visualizations by plotting up to a millions data points in the form of column heat and bubble maps on the top of a bing map if the data is time stamped it can also produce interactive views that display how the data changes over space and time this is about a power map so what is your comfortable level so here you need to show your confidence so if you are comfortable in working with a power map then you need to answer saying that i am very strong in the power map implementations so out of 10 i can i can make myself as around 8 or 9 so that's how you need to show your confidence level so it is a power map is a 3d visualization and you will be doing on the top of a maps so you can plot the points million data points on the top of a map next so what is a power view can you define a power view power view is a data visualization technology that lets you to create interactive charts graphs maps and other visuals which bring your data into a file into life power view is available in the excel sharepoint sql server and power bi so there are a couple of so visualization tools available in the power view view first one is a charts line charts pie charts maps tiles images tables power view multiple visualizations bubble and scatter charts and kps key performance indicators so this is about a power view so these are the list of important questions in the power bi so if you see these are all the covered all the areas of the power bi so apart from this so if you have any questions in the power bi please comment your question in the power bi section i'll try to answer if you want to write out a mail you can write a mail to the training to sql at the rate gmail.com or you can find in the about us section in the youtube channel that's it thank you for watching Please subscribe to my channel for more interview questions and videos. Thank you.